Hi everyone, welcome to EDUCERS, a complete solution for the institution. Myself Sandhya and I am here to explain you about the academy management software. This is our EDUCERS login page and here we are providing 5 types of login. First, super admin login, second admin login, third staff login, fourth student login and fifth parent login. I will be sharing the director login because director will have total control on the application. After we login, our EDUCERS interface will be in this way. So when we do our academy setup, our institution name and logo will be changed. When we do our current academic setup, our academic year will display here. And all the we are providing all the Google languages here. Whichever language is comfortable to you, you can use that. We are also capturing some special features like to do. Whatever your daily routine works are there, those you can add here. And you can even sort it out your pending works and your completed works. Polling master. Management can raise any type of poll questions to the staff, student and parent and that will reflect in the, the particular logins and if they give answer, the management can see in a pictorial representation. Mails. We are capturing internal mails and external mails, both internal mails for the employees and external mails for the outsiders and the parents. Help. If you want to know about any of the module that you can type here and you can see the brief explanation about that module and if you want to if you want to redirect to that screen also you can click here and you will redirect to the screen. Campus links. Management uh, will share as campus links like that uh, which will reflect in each and every logins and you can click on that if we will redirect to that link. Your staff profiles, you can see all your staff details like this and all your student details also like this. And this is your profile, your login and logout. Now I am going into the main module. First is dashboard. Dashboard is nothing but whatever data you will be entering here that you can see in a pictorial representation here. Next is statistics. Whatever data you have uh, you have seen in the pictorial representation that you can see in a table format here, your user summary. To Topper summary. You can see your toppers here selecting the branch and you can sort it out from 1st rank to 10th rank. Visitors. You can see your visitors also branch wise whoever is visiting whomever. Teaching plan summary you can capture here branch wise. You can download the data in PDF and Excel both. Now I am going to the next module. Next module is academy setup. We will be capturing your institution details from the back end and if you want to do any changes or in anything you can just click on the edit button and you can do the changes. You can upload the logo also. Branch registration. You will be doing your branch registrations here. No matter you have n number of branches you can add all your branches. So you will see what are the details you have given like this. And next is user registration. First is admin registration. We do have uh, different uh, admins in different different branches. So you will enter all your head uh, ahead of the admin and details here and you can see the details of the admin like this student admission so you can see the student admission screen is this and you can add all the student details here new students and existing students and you can save after you save the students will reflect in the left so you can see, click on one student and you can see what are the details you gave to that student and bulk import students so we are providing some excel sheet here you can download that and you can enter the details of the student and you can easily upload and you can process it and the next module is academic setup to run any of the academy you need to set up your short term and long term courses academic year so just click on plus button your short term courses you can configure details you can configure and your long term course details you can configure here subject management you can manage all your subjects whatever you teach in the academy if you want to include those subjects to the timetable you can just checklist and you can include it you can also import through excel sheet batch section management you might be having so many sections in each batch so you can add in number of batches here and in the next screen student to batch section you will add all the students to the batches faculty to subjects here you will assign faculties their subject just click on plus button just click on plus button and select details like this and you can assign the faculties their subjects like this. Next academic calendar you can manage your total calendar here just clicking on any of the date you will select if you are giving all branches holiday all the course codes and if it is a holiday select holiday event name or everything and save. After you save you can see holidays will be displayed like this. Timetable configuration. You can configure your timetable like this here, course wise like this and these all we are capturing in the academic setup and these you can click on edit button and you can give your own timings here. 
and in the next screen you can see final timetable will be displayed like this you can add any changes are there you can clone the timetable for the week for the year and month also you can input through excel sheet also you can switch the timetable also like this and the final timetable which will be displayed is here so here you can finally you can capture the timetable here and you can select and you can select like this and you can select and you can see the final timetable will display here okay next is the course schedule you can even schedule your courses also here like this courses also like this and the next module is annual checks you can also manually enter your marks also just click on edit button and you can edit it the marks and you can give the marks manually also you can promote the student from here itself you can notify the parent also and you can uh, notify marks also and you can add the exam date sheet also few things remain same every year like our calendar subject syllabus question papers those all you no need to do every time you can just click on generate button and your data will be generated for next year also you can promote the students if any of the student wants to continue with us for the next year also so those students you can easily promote from this screen and the next screen is application and our next is academic conflict so few few modules we are giving an option of entering through excel sheet also so these all we have we are giving excel sheets you can import through excel sheet and you can have the data we are also providing one free website if you can if you want to use that you can use it and you can use that website from the application itself you can add the gallery details from here you can add about yourself and your faculty also guest view social media social media related news if you want to put it that also you can put from here id cards you can generate id cards also here we are providing five templates you can use our templates also if you want you have own templates you can upload your own templates also card management here you will be managing your id cards you can issue the id cards to the students next is application master in the application master few things remains uh, uh, one time configurations like uh, you know assignments we do give assignments uh, different different types right so if you configure one time wherever assignment type will reflect in the application there you will get a drop down like this so these all are one time configurations so your classes names letters inquiry types is all you can configure one time screen defaults you can manage admission screen as you as you want like if you want class first student name next according to that you can keep your screen defaults building management you can manage your buildings details here department and designations you can manage here you can add your departments you can add your sub departments you can map the designations also and the next is next module is admin module so as i told you you might be having one admin in each branch so you will be entering the details of the admin here if he has given us some donations for any of the fundraising event or expenses if he is going out on any of the academy purpose if he claims those details his salary structure you can see how the notification has to send to the admin those details you can see activity admin activity you can see how what are the documents he has shared what is the task we have assigned to him that you can see here his personal details family details leave summary profile qualification appraisals you can see here and scholastic his attendance total attendance also you can capture here next user management in user management first is staff this is the staff management screen where you will be adding your existing staff and your new staff so after we enter the details and we save all the staff will reflect in the left side you just click on one staff and you can see his you can add the family details assign asserts professional information activity fee salary and performance his behavior his certificates medical if he has any medical problem physical immunization discipline and transfer space structure teaching details everything you can see here okay teaching workload also you can capture here next is star student management in student management you can select one student and you can add the family details of the student and his credentials you can capture his academic details his behavior in the class his certificates if we are capturing fee what is the fee of the student that you can capture here medical problem if he has discipline and transfers you can do it from this screen so you can capture everything here job and placements jobs and placements uh, as i told you we are providing free website so whatever job openings you have those details you can add here and that will reflect in the website so job seeker list in job seeker list whatever job openings we have done that will be 
reflected in the website and whoever is approaching in the website and we can the data will come here and you can schedule the interview also by the contact numbers past users whomever we have suspended that can be staff and student those you need to active here and then only they will log, they can log into the application alumni users whoever is our past user, user users are there or past uh, employees if they are approaching in the website those details you can see here role authorizations this is the screen where you will control the modules and screens to whomever you want to give whatever like for principal what uh, for admin whatever you want to give for staff whatever you want to give for student and parent Ro read only and read and write option also you can capture here custom user authorization individually employee wise also you can control the screens you can just select the one employee and you can give whatever screens and modules you want to give dashboards as i showed you in the starting dashboards pictorial representation those also you can control to whomever you want to give that you can control here individually employee wise also you will select and you can control here the dashboards attendance student attendance we are capturing five types of attendance here like you can take attendance manually also through excel sheet also you can upload through biometric integration is there rfid integration is there faculties can get attendance from mobile app also so here period activity faculties can take period wise attendance also so start date and end date what what is what was the lesson they taught today whether it has completed or not for today's activity homework assignment and they will save then this will be sent mail to the parents attendance history you can see here whatever the attendance history is there attendance history like this you can capture and you can track the students also parents can track and you can track the staff members also like this and the next module is HR management. In HR management, we might be having some rules in the academy like these many leaves and these many sick leaves for the staff. So those leaves you can add here. And leaves management is whoever is applying leave, those data will get here and we'll just click on edit button and we will see the leave count of the staff. And if you want to approve, you will approve. If you want to reject, you can reject. If you can call them to the cabin also. And next is attendance as i told you same five types of attendance we are providing to the staff also manually also they can take it excel sheet also they can upload biometric integration is there rfid integration is also there Ex faculties can give attendance from their mobile app also history of the attendance also you can see here like this space payroll staff payroll you can see the dashboard like this how many employees are there how many working days how many payroll pay slips have been processed total deductions earnings and total everything cost everything you can see in a dashboard salary configurations you can do in this screen your components salary deductions earnings everything you can add here you can add the salary dates also pay slip details so you can select like this and you can select teacher generate and you can generate the pay slips so you can view the pay slip like this and you can download the pay slip also you need to calculate you can you need to generate and you need to release then only it will reflect in their particular logins one and one meeting also you can generate to the employees if you want uh, have a meeting with any of the employee you can generate one and one meeting here next module is account management account management uh, we are capturing payment gateway also if you are tied up with any of the online payments we will integrate that also and you will add your account details here and you can save it general entry so whatever your debits and credits online payments everything will come here and you can uh, sort it out by the account uh, type also and transaction from date and to date also debit and credit also tax configurations also you can do according to the state fee management so you might be having different different fee types so just click on edit button and you can add your own fee types here same as special fees also whatever special fees types you have those you can add here waivers how you usually give discount to the students those you can add your waiver types here fee structure so now we will be configuring fee structure just click on unlock button course wise you can configure the fee structure and you can just click on you can just edit it like this whatever terms you want to give to the parent number of terms and all details and you just generate after you generate it will reflect in fee details whatever you have configured detailedly you can see here like this like this term 1 term 2 like this you can see the detailed fee details 
fee receivables so whatever uh, fees we need to receive from the students those like this you can see section wise fee types so whatever fee like this you can see all our uh, pending outstanding you can sort it out pending outstanding waiver how many students we gave waiver you can notify to the parent also like this here you can download the data also special fee management whatever special fees we are capturing those you can add here fee adjustments any fee adjustments are there those details you can enter here product ledger if if uh, any kind of products we are ordering from outside though if, and we are getting any bills and all those things you can add here scholarship configurations you can do it from the screen we need to get approval from the management then only we can give the scholarship for the student miscellaneous transactions so whatever some amount we give to the accounts department how they have used those details they will add whether they brought any stationary items those things they will add here and expenses management if any of the faculty is going out on the purpose of management uh, academy then they will claim and if you can up process it you can process from the screen donate donation donor management whatever donor event we do if anyone give us donations that will come in the screen activity and training if we are charging for any of the activity some fee special fee those things you can capture if someone is asking advanced salary those things we can capture here waiver approvals so whatever waivers discounts if any parent asks that approval need to come from the management then only the accounts department can approve it academy operations automatic scheduler we are capturing here uh, four types of uh, notifications sms also you can send push notification through e through mobile app also e internal mails and external mails also so you will select here uh, like day and you will select here uh, what notification type you will select this user role and name and notify you will click here and you can notify to the student and parent report scheduler you can schedule the reports also attendance report any kind of report and it will it will automatically re reflect academic info so whatever polling questions i showed you in the starting in the dashboard from here you will add and it will reflect in the dashboard and you can select here only staff management student and parent also you can add the options of questions also you will give from which which day to which date it should reflect also branch rating parents will give rating to the branches so that will that we can do from here academic links whatever links i have shown you on the dashboard that links will be added by management in the screen document sharing you can share the documents here first you will give the name of the icon and you will give icon and name here and then you will click on document sharing you will select the document you will click on multiple share and this document should reflect from which date to which date in the logins and whether it should only read only and it should it should be editable also you will select and you will select branches move here and you will select again branches and for these two branches to whom you are sharing only staff so all staff will come and you will select here whatever staff and share it will share to those staff and the next is inventory management so you you will be configuring your inventory types whatever inventory types you have vendors from wherever you order the vendor list and miscellaneous items like stationery canteen items you can configure here if you have any franchises so if the franchiser is giving us the items so franchiser uh, will add his items here whatever items available in the in that main branch and then franchiser will purchase if he, he is done with any of the items franchises will order from this screen whatever items they require that will reflect in the franchiser screen miscellaneous operations so if you can add any type of task to the staff members like any admissions they need to do or any question papers they need to check those things those tasks you can give here that will reflect in their login assets whatever assets are there which you are assign you can assign to the staff members in this screen print screen log this is totally for the security purpose if uh, if anyone is trying to misuse the data uh, or any of the modules that if they are taking print screen after 10 times the application will get logged and you can see the data will get captured like this whoever is accessing and what print screen they have taken and from which browser also we will cap we can capture here user support any complaints and requests from the staff members will come in the screen ticket management fee is ticket management is for us uh, you can give us any advice for functional issue if you have anything you can raise here we will revert back immediately raise complaint is for the staff members and parents if they are facing any problem or any advice they want to give that they will give to you and you will address from from ticket management 
visitors and inquiry in and out few items we 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 order bulk like unit receiver name item name quantity sender name and you can save it and visitor visitor management whoever is visiting us you will enter the details and after you save visitor uh, pass will get issued inquiry management we do get inquiries through calls also sometimes so those data you can enter here and you can save it and the next module is academics so assessment management in the assessment management you can uh, add uh, your uh, marks whatever exam you conduct in the academy those marks you can enter here and next is course whatever uh, course uh, material you give to the students that you can add here like you will give title to that book and everything you can save it and the next is you can also type the material study material also by yourself you can attach the images also you can upload the videos also and everything you can do so whatever study material we are giving from that you can also manage the quiz questions also and you can conduct the exams also from the study material so list of the study materials still now we have prepared and you can assign the course books also these are all course uh, list also you can assign to the students batch wise and next is formative assessments so assignments any type of assignments are there those you can add here and you can assign to the students from this screen grading system if you have grading system in the academy you can configure the grading system scholastic grading is nothing but we we do have fa1 fa2 like that right so if you have any type of uh, 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 scholastic grading for those you can configure here scholastic subgrading is not only for off online exams offline exams also if you want grading system you can manage the grading system term grade generator so if you have grading system if you want to continue grading system for the term wise also you can configure consolidated marks also you can release here you can view the marks of the student like this you can view the to one student you can uh, view uh, consolidated marks of the student also and you can see the report card of the student also here everything you can see here next is library if you have library you can manage you can configure what are the items you are providing in the library and here inventory so what materials you have what publishers what authors available how many not available how many everything if we are providing barcodes also so you can stick the barcodes on library books and uh, activities like uh, you can issue books to the students and pay staff also so these are the books we have just select the books and add to the card and you can view those books and you can just click and you can generate and it, you can issue it after issuing if when they return so you can select those books and if there is any late fee you can collect the late fee also transactions history how many students or staff till now they have paid us late fee history you can see here lead management system so our leads we do have get leads from twitter facebook quick uh, linkedin and uh, like open source like uh, direct walk in or any calls so those details you will enter here and you will save dashboard in a dashboard till now how many we have closed from twitter other online offline and what are our closing status everything you can see in a dashboard lead history you can see the lead history whatever leads we have assigned to the staff what happened actually to that lead hot leads also you can capture in this screen daily leads also you can capture some leads they keep in inactive so why they have kept in inactive why they are not interested and what was the last modified date everything you can capture here last but not the least report module so you can generate all these reports through excellent pdf also thank you so much for watching this video thank you